Hello and welcome back to Gapy's Grill Room. Today we're going to do a little addendum to the previous video that I posted comparing the Spider Farmer SF-1000 and the Mars Hydro TS-1000. I specifically want to focus on the temperature test that I did. I had a few commenters say that the test that I did was not very accurate because what I used for testing the temperature is an infrared thermometer. And little did I know that infrared is not a great way to test metallic surfaces. So I got a new temperature device. So this one is from Thermalworks. We use a lot of the Thermalworks products in the kitchen. We aren't sponsored and they didn't send this to me or anything. Um, but this is the Thermak meter. So you can get a variety of different probes that attach to this meter on their website. And this particular one is the magnetic surface probe. Unfortunately, both of our LED panels are made of aluminum, which is not magnetic. So we can still use this probe to test the temperature. It's just not going to stick. We may have to hold it or it actually will just sit on top of the, the panels. So we should get a pretty good reading that is a lot more accurate than this infrared meter. All right, let's take a look at the Mars Hydro first. We're testing the temperature of the driver and we are looking at a reading of about 116 degrees Fahrenheit. And let's see what we had with the infrared thermometer. We've got a reading of 135 degrees. So that is much hotter using the infrared thermometer than that other meter. Now we're taking the temperature reading of the panel itself or the hood and we are looking at 125.5 degrees Fahrenheit using the Thermalworks meter. Now if you remember when we used the infrared thermometer on the panel we were getting all kinds of temperature readings and we're seeing that here as well. We're getting temperatures from 70s all the way up to 120. So it ranges quite a bit using the infrared thermometer on this panel. And I did test the Thermaworks probe on different areas of the panel. It was pretty consistent across the whole panel. All right, now let's take a look at the Spider Farmer's driver. We're getting a temperature reading of about 112 degrees Fahrenheit with the Thermaworks meter. All right, lastly, let's take a look at the reading of the Spider Farmer using the Thermaworks. So we're looking at 97.7 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's less than 100 degrees, which is surprisingly less hot than the Mars Hydro. Using our infrared thermometer, the Mars Hydro was less hot than the Spider Farmer. Well, I think the results speak for themselves. There was a massive difference between the temperature readings that we got with the infrared thermometer versus what we got with the Thermaworks thermometer. And surprisingly, the, the Spider Farmer was not as hot as the Mars Hydro. When we did our previous test using the infrared, the Mars Hydro was less hot than the Spider Farmer. So the results we got using this other thermometer were quite surprising. Both of these LED panels put off quite a lot of heat even though the Spider Farmer does have a little bit less heat output than the Mars Hydro. The Mars Hydro has the advantage of being able to remove the driver from the, the hood so you can mount it outside of the grow tent, which is really ideal for a grow tent application because those LED panels will get your grow tents pretty warm if you don't have some ample solution to ventilate your grow tent. So in that case, I think the Mars Hydro is still the, the winner for using in a grow tent application. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something. If you have any other questions about these two lights, let me know and I'll try to answer those. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you again soon. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.